And we are back. Harry Squatter here. Microphone all ready on the old spectacles. I've got my notepad on board with a couple of questions you guys have asked me. So, do I have a squat mobility routine? I'm not going to lie, I don't. I don't do anything for mobility. All I do is get under the bar, do a uh, few sets of maybe 8 to 15 reps with the bar, and uh, I'm usually all set by that point. Um, <laughs> the only thing I can suggest to you, because the following question after that, is tips for improving squat mobility. I advise sitting in a squat position, full squat position, as deep and as comfortable as you can get it. That was incredibly suspicious. When I eat my food, when I drink my tea, um, even the brush of my teeth, sometimes I just squat down and I sit in that position and I do so for sometimes five minutes. But that's because I've always had good mobility in my ankles, in my hips. I've got short thighs, which helps. So it means I don't have to uh, squat down as far as you daddy long legs looking motherfuckers. The next question I'm going to address is thoughts on 5x5 five five starting off. And I'm going to keep it simple. It's a fantastic way to start off. Um, builds a baseline level of strength. My advice to you is focus on your technique. Your technique is so damn important. If you decide to go heavy and you don't know how to do that exercise correctly, you're going to snap your shit up. So, yeah, that's just three questions that um, I thought I'd like to address. And in good fashion, I will pop open my... Uh, I always throw off the top for the badgers and the foxes and uh, indulge in my solid potassium. What's on the agenda today? What am I training? Now, last night, I did go to the gym after work. It is swallowed. It is done. The potassium is running through my red blood cells. I did do paused squats last night, but because I was so tired after a long shift at work, I decided to cut it short, go back home, feed up, rest up, you know, recover. So I'm now carrying on from that workout last night. I'll be doing pause squats again. Obviously, I won't be going as heavy as last night. Unless I feel good. If I feel good, then I'll probably work up to a decent weight. Um, the first lot of squats is working up to a single at RPE 6. So we shall see how we go with that. Following on from pause squats is bench press. Tempo bench press, hip thrusts, Bulgarian split squats, dumbbell RDLs and calf presses. I would do calf raises, but we don't have a calf raise machine at the gym that I go to. So calf presses is the alternative. I don't want to make this video incredibly long and incredibly boring to watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut now straight to squats. Just so you get a better idea of the stance that I'm working with, I've adjusted the camera so you can see the width between hill to hill. Pretty darn narrow. Yesterday I posted a video, which uh, it was a 190 kilo long pause squat. I thought it was 200 kilo, um, so I thought I'd uh, redeem myself and actually do 200 kilo the next day.
Here we go, baby. Ooh. I'm actually going to do a second rep, a good 20 seconds later, because I didn't like the first rep. That was better. All right. Moving on to the back down sets. So 200 kg felt all right. Um, dropping down to 140 kg. Gonna do a set of seven with this. Then uh, my program will generate what weight I'll be doing after this. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. Starting to think my left leg's shorter than my right. <laughs> Jobs are good. Respectfully, I was weaker on squats today, but that's because I come in yesterday fatigued and attempted the same I was doing today, yesterday. Not a smart move, I don't recommend it. You should listen to your body, but I have a habit of going against the advice I reap. Anyway, on to bench now, working up to a single at RPE 6.5. I'm hoping it'll be around 145, 150. We shall see. Judging by how 140 felt, 150 should be perfect. Perfect. Okay, so moving on to some hip thrusts. Something I haven't done in years, if, uh, if at all, to be honest. Especially this machine, I've never used this machine. So, uh, a bit of an alien mothership to me. Let's give it a go. Oh God. Hump in the atmosphere. Glute power. Jesus Christ, okay. Well, I've got to do two more sets of that for eight to 10 reps. I think um, because I'm new to this machine, shall we say, we're gonna keep it just a single 20. And then as the weeks go on, we'll uh, progressively overload and uh, see how far we can take my thrusting power. Second set of the humping machine.
Radio, so moving on to one of my favourite exercises, the uh, Bulgarian split squat. Fantastic way to uh, rip apart the quad muscle. I'm using a kettlebell on one hand. Um, I find that using a kettlebell on one hand has built stability unilaterally. I'm going to do three sets of ten with this. My camera is about to die. My phone is about to die. So I'm going to have to wrap this up and uh, the next exercise after this will be dumbbell RDLs. Okay, so usually I use a kettlebell and usually I use two plates below my back foot rather than this platform. The kettlebell is too big for this platform. So today instead of fucking around, we're just gonna use a dumbbell. I will say the Bulgarian split squat, as much as it does uh, target my quadriceps, it also does a fantastic job of ripping apart my booty. Last exercise of the day, dumbbell RDLs, my, probably my uh, favorite hamstring exercise as well as barbell RDLs although I feel like dumbbell RDLs hit a bit differently than barbell. Barbell I mainly use to assist my deadlift whereas dumbbells more for hamstring hypertrophy. Three sets of eight to ten of this and then uh, call it a wrap. That's a wrap.